Alright guys, what is up? So today we've got the brand new vehicle into GT Online, the Vettia at a lovely little $450,000 by far probably the, the cheapest What? What do you mean? What? What do you mean it's for $450,000? It's a, it does the exact same job as the barracks It's 10 seats what? 1.6? Are you serious? Yes, people. I have a confession to make with this video. I am going to be using footage from another GTA channel called One Stop Gaming. I will leave a link to the channel and the video in the description down below because I legit refuse to buy this vehicle and you'll understand why and you probably understand why already going by the amount of people that have already done videos on this on not to buy it. This is probably by far the worst thing you could spend nearly two million dollars on let me break it down to you into little sections section one obviously the most important you can't customize this thing okay this is a Pegasus vehicle. Now, Pegasus vehicles, when it comes to planes and helicopters, isn't too bad because you can store it in a hangar. This, however, you have nowhere to store it. So it is literally just a call it when you need it vehicle. This is 1.2 to 1.6 million dollars. What does it do? It transports you, a passenger, and eight people in the back. That's all it does. It hasn't got weapons, you can't customize it, you can't do nothing with it. Problem number two. Again, it's nearly two million dollars. Now, the barracks, which you will see, spawns in certain locations around the map. You don't need to even have it purchased, because I haven't, I haven't bought the barracks, and it appears on the map. So please explain the logic of the pricing behind this truck Rockstar because there is no logic behind the pricing of this truck <laughs> do not buy this thing the handling is horrible you turn around the corner even the slightest and it rolls over you try to roll it back on its wheels like you do with a thumbstick it rolls over to the other side Okay. If I, like, li literally, if you play on Xbox, GTA Online, if you have purchased this vehicle, and I see that you have purchased this vehicle, I will personally come over to that vehicle, whether you're in it or not, beat the heck out of it, and then blow it up. Because this vehicle is a complete waste of money holy jesus what is that what the fuck is that now yes there are other vehicles that are you know what's the point of buying them you can get them around the map first of all they're only like three thousand maybe dollars to buy second of all they're kind of useful because you can store them in your personal vehicle garage you can customize them this you can't do shit with you can't do nothing with it. If I see anyone going around the map in this vehicle, I will blow it up. I haven't even bothered. I haven't bought this thing, so I can't even put it around the test track. Not that you'd be able to anyway, because it's a person. It's a Pegasus vehicle, so you won't even be able to use it in races. So that's a that's a gone. So even if it was any good, you wouldn't be able to use it. And with missions, yeah, you'd be able to spawn it. But who's going to get 
into a lorry that can carry 10 people with 4 of you, nowadays 2201 GTA Online, and everyone's got jets and tanks and really fast cars. Why is anyone going to get into this truck thing? So that's the end of this video, full throttle, probably the quickest full throttle episode I've ever done, but this vehicle is completely useless, do not buy it, if I do see anyone with it, I will blow it up, alright, you have been warned. Let's recap, shall we, quickly. You can't customise it. You can't store it. It's nearly $2 million. You can't use it for races if it was any good, which it isn't. Reasons? Because the handling is terrible. So, do not buy this vehicle. And I will see you all in the next one. Hopefully, it will be something decent. And something I'll actually be able to do a video on. So, I will see you all in the next one. If there is anything you'd rather me do a review on this week, rather than this piece of crap, please do leave so in the comments below, and I will see you all in the next one.